oh my gosh, guys. These TikTok cinnamon roll, oh, oh, it's the best hack. I will never make them any other way. Um, it was my husband's idea actually this morning to make them. He got up before me. He went to the store. He got the ingredients. He attempted to make them. What he did do wrong, I'll tell you now. He went to the wrong supermarket. He went to a supermarket that we usually don't and should not go to. He got heavy cream from there. And guess what? As he poured the heavy cream on top of the cinnamon rolls, he learned that it was all curdled. Took the stuff back, blah, blah, blah. Went to a different store and got more ingredients. Came back and said, babe, will you make these? So, like I said, I've been wanting to try them. And here it is. I've seen these on many creators' posts. Um, and they, it's all different versions. And the trick here, guys, is that heavy cream. And um, But what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and took a half a stick of melted butter, a half a cup of brown sugar, and then I measured some cinnamon with my heart, honey, because I like cinnamon. Maybe about a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon, I don't know. And then some microdose coffee. That stuff is best at adding that coffee punch because a teaspoon is about a cup of coffee but you just put a big old heaping dollop on each one of these cinnamon rolls by the way i did make half of the um, recipe that i've seen on tiktok because there's only two of us and these things get big y'all they do they get huge we only could eat one a piece and normally we'd eat like i don't know two cinnamon rolls when they're just baked regularly so anyway you just add that um onto each one and then ryan had the idea of adding the um, caramels on there so I just was going to pop, pop one on each one and then I was like well maybe I should flatten it out so I'll give it an even surface of a caramel so I did that on all five of those and then I took some chopped pecans pecans, pecans, depends where you're at depends how you say it um, just add a little half a handful onto each one um, you guys, you don't have to do all this extraness this is just my extraness and my spin but look at that, it looks so damn good um, 350 degrees in your oven. Make sure that you cover it with foil. I've seen some recipes that they do not cover it in foil. I decided I would um, because I didn't want my pecans to burn. So stick in the oven at 350, like I said, for 30 minutes. Clean up after yourself. That's a very good habit. It's an OCD habit of mine is why I do it, but that's a good habit, I would say. But look, these things smelled so good. They plumped up and... Oh, they're so worth it. You would you you would only understand if you tried it. So looky here. Look, 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 look. Oh yeah. Wow. Ooh, hot. Hot. So that icing, you're just gonna drizzle, pour it over the top of here, over each one. Um, quick hack. Put that icing on top of your stove whenever your cinnamon rolls are in the oven baking because it'll make it melt and easier to drizzle. But look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness. It smells and looks so damn good, and it tastes so much better than it looked and smelled. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up for y'all. That one right there. I want that corner one. That's the one I am going to get. Again, this is a must try if you have not yet, and I will make them this way every single time. You can hear it in my voice. I'm like, Ugh, it's a passion for cinnamon rolls. This is a caramel. A pecan caramel cinnamon roll. Oh my gosh. This is just like bliss. I appreciate it to all you creators showing me the different ways of how to and how not to do this recipe. And I love you all. Happy TikToking. Happy cinnamon rolling. Happy eating. Happy yum yum. Eat it. Try it. Do it. I love TikTok. These are the hacks we should know in school. Oh, teach us.